Start SOLIDWORKS from the desktop. Click Tutorials from the SOLIDWORKS resource pane. Select Getting Started. Click Lesson 1 Parts. Review the overview of Lesson 1. Click Next. Expand the instructions. For the first step, you will create a new part. If you don't know where a particular icon is in the graphics window, select on the icon in the Help dialog and the location will be displayed in the SOLIDWORKS window. Click New. Click the Part icon from the Tutorial tab. Click OK. Click Save. Enter Tutor 1 for file name. Click Save. Click Extruded Boss Base. Select the front plane for your sketch plane. Expand Rectangle. Select Center Rectangle. Click the origin and drag outward and to the right. Click OK. Click Smart Dimension. Click the horizontal line. Click a position below. Enter 120 for dimension. Click the vertical line. Click a position to the left. Enter 120 for dimension. The black sketch is fully defined. Click Exit Sketch. Blind is the default end condition. Enter 30 for depth. Click OK from the Extrude Property Manager. Create a boss on the front face. Click Extruded Boss Base. Click the front face as the sketch plane. Expand View Orientation and click Normal 2. Click Circle. Click the origin. Drag outward and to the right. Click Smart Dimension. Click the circumference of the circle. Click a position diagonally to the right. Enter 70 for the diameter dimension. Click Exit Sketch. Display a trimetric view. Enter 25 for depth. Click OK. The Extrude Boss is complete. Click Extrude Cut from the Features toolbar. Click the front circular face. This is your sketch plane. Click Offset Entities. For Offset Distance, enter 5. Click the Reverse Direction box. Select the front circular face. A new circle is created 5 mm to the inside. Click OK from Offset Entities. Click Exit Sketch. The default end condition is blind. Select the drop-down arrow and select Through All. Click OK. Create the fillets. Select Fillet from the Features toolbar. Enter 5 for Fillet Radius. Be sure to check Full Preview. To preview the fillets in the graphics window, select the four small corner edges. As you select each edge, the preview is displayed. Hidden edges can also be selected. Click the front face. Click OK from the Fillet Property Manager. Create additional fillets. Click the Fillet feature. Enter 1.5 for fillet radius. Select the front narrow circular face. Click OK. Utilize the middle mouse button to rotate the part. Select the back face. Click the Shell feature from the Features toolbar. The shell removes material from the solid by a specified thickness. Enter 1 for thickness. Check Show Preview. Click OK. The shell feature is complete. Display a trimetric view. Click Section View. From the Section 1 property, select the top Plane. The section view is created on the top plane. Click OK to exit section view. Click section view to return to the full view. Display an isometric view. Click Save. Tutor 1 is complete.